Mike, obviously your lineup was a mix of players, as I'm sure we all expected. How do you feel they played together when maybe they're not used to each other as much? Well, listen, I mean, it was an opportunity to get um, guys who don't, you, you know, have not got a lot of any minutes or a lot of minutes this year, some minutes. I thought the first 45, I felt comfortable uh, after the first 45. Um, you know, we got back in a good shape, denied a lot from them. Um, and then the, the, the goal in the early in the second half killed us because, you know, you have a team like Kansas City who's established now for years, you know, playing us, you know, have, have years to perfect and work on that with three uh, full time stars for them on the field tonight. Um, then they're going to knock the ball, you know, they're going to knock the ball. And we're going to chase it a little bit. Uh, I thought that uh, obviously after that goal, like I said, it forced us to step a little higher. Um, maybe fitness came a little bit into it for some guys on this on, on the field for us, um, and they were a very good team. So first 45, I thought that there was some good things. Our shape, our our our, our commitment, our block w w was very good. Um, and then after the goal, they just you know we were chasing. Was there anyone able to make an impression who you hadn't gotten to see a lot of? Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go watch the watch the game again. You know, I'm, a, you know, I'm, I'm listen. I'm proud for all their efforts um, in this game. It was a tough game against a very good opponent. Like I said, I decided to rest pretty much a regular regular starters, um, and I thought there were some good things in the first half. And, and it, again, like I said, the second half got away from us a bit because we were chasing the game from from five minutes or seven minutes into the second half. I kind of killed us a little bit. Yeah, what does go into the decision-making process with your lineup, knowing what your schedule's been like recently? Well, yeah, there's not much into my decision-making process, you know. Um, three games last week, um, when we won all three of them, we have an opportunity to go to L.A. and hopefully get a result um, and keep amassing points. And this, this is an opportunity for, like I said, for me to see um, – Certain guys who have played with the Monarchs a lot um, and certain guys who have been, you know, reserves on the bench coming off once in a while together and, and, and see what they have to see what they have. Uh, so that's where the thought process come in. You know, most of the guys um, made it through the past week with three games unscathed for the most part. Um, and they're obviously a little bit tired. So I wasn't going to I didn't want to put Brooks on tonight, but, you know, I won nothing down. You know, Brooks is, a, Brooks is like my kid. He always wants to play. So throw them on for 20 minutes and, and see what happens. With all that said, is it discouraging to, to not win a game like this? Or do you just kind of say, hey, the circumstances totally are what they are? It's always discouraging. You know, I'm a very competitive person. So the, every player that played tonight, every player that didn't play tonight, this is what we, you know, this is what we do to win a game. We want to win, always. Um, maybe discouraging is, is, is a tough word, but... Um, uh, upset from a from a competitive standpoint, absolutely. Like I said, I mean, going into the halftime at 45 minutes, um, it was like, all right, you know, we, we, it's kind of been a, a slow back and forth affair between the two teams. We kept them in check for a lot of the time. They kept us in check for certain times. We both have a couple of opportunities. Um, I think Connor had that big save in the first half, and I think that Brody got behind, and I think there was an – I forgot, again, to watch the tape again. I think we had one or two – efforts that, you know, could have resulted in a goal. So very even match. Um, so discouraged, no. But um, to me, now the focus is on L.A. We're already in there uh, continuing to plan for L.A. With Baird playing so well at center forward, what are you looking to see from Luis, maybe to get him uh, back in the starting lineup, I guess, and then maybe to a lesser extent, Alfredo? What are you looking um, for? For... Luis, Luis, my opinion has not changed to Luis. Luis is a very good player, and he's a big player for us. Coaches have to make tough decisions sometimes, and who's to say that Luis won't play against L.A.? You know, Corey um, took his opportunity, and I think he has four goals and maybe one or two assists or something like that. Um, they're two, two different types of players. You know, Luis is more of a, a, a dropping connect and, and inside, you know, 
in the 18-yard box and when we build the ball down there, he's opportunistic and can get in areas to score. Corey has, you know, a bit more pace. Uh, he's younger and uh, stretches defenses a little more. And uh, so it's not about Luis versus Corey or anything like that. Uh, you know, uh, Luis started against uh, Houston and got a goal. It was huge for us. Um, so, again, uh, these are decisions that are tough for a coach sometimes, but you want to have those tough decisions. On their first goal, their center back obviously got way far which down is, the field. Which is ironic because that's exactly uh, – that was a perfect thing that we wanted. But the, the – I'm sorry, you could finish your question. No, you're fine. You <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you just sprung something in my mind. Um, listen, a lot of teams that we play, <clears throat> you know – no, let me rephrase that. Every team we play, we have a trigger press. Um, a lot of teams we play, the trigger press is based off the center back. That That's who we want the ball at their feet, you know? Uh, and he started taking the ball, which is perfect. He's dribbling into an area surrounded by people that he's, it's not the best thing for him. He's not the guy that I'm sure Peter wants to be pulling the strings. But no one collapsed on him, you know? And they... It could have been um, miscommunication. It could have been tired legs. It could have been, I thought he was, he thought I was. But, you know, there has to come a point there when we have him in that trap to cut off his options and step to him and, and force him into a bad decision. And then hopefully we counter out of it. In that particular play, you know, we just didn't step to him. What was the thought process um, behind not using all three subs tonight? Well, if you look on the bench, uh, we had, I used... Let me think about this. The bench was Brooks, Brooks, Fofo, Acosta, Baird, Gallagher, Jake, the backup goalie, and Otunio. So I used Otunio, um, used Brooks, even though I didn't plan on it. The thought process was is that I take, I love the U.S. Open Cup for what it stands for. All right, I, I hope to win it one day. I never won it as a player. Never won it as a coach. Uh, having said that, the thought process was three games last week. Um, L.A. is a big game for us coming up in three days. So I didn't want to risk any injury, risk any con continuation of tired legs. Um, now that, But I did put Brooks on because, of course, at one nothing, at 0-0, I thought we had a chance. And, and perhaps if it was 0-0 in the, in the 75th or 80 minute, or one nothing even, uh, maybe we, we put more guys on. I just didn't I'm, – I'm weighing L.A. versus the Open Cup game, and I thought for 45 minutes that we were in it. Uh, and then even at one nothing down, um, there was still a shot. Uh, perhaps I would have put some of those guys on. But, oh, and Gallagher, Gallagher's a center back and, and played 90 minutes two days ago. So that was my thought process. I didn't want to put more miles and, uh, in the heat uh, and, and waste of – not waste – uh, you know what I'm trying to say. The energy output based off of tomorrow, a training session, Friday, leaving for L.A. and a big game in L.A. That was my thought process. I put faith in the guys I put out in the field, and at the end of the day, we just didn't get it done.